actually not that bad. Like this is actually pretty clean. It's not bad at all. Just hopefully there's no bed bugs. I definitely need to check all of this. And that's a shared door. Well, it opened up to somebody else. It's an, it's an okay hotel, but it's just like not, I don't say it's not what I'm used to, but it's definitely not the Ritz. It's definitely not, not that I go to the Ritz, but it's definitely not like the Hilton or like a Marriott or something normal. I don't know. It's called like micro hotel. I don't know. Anything with the word in or sweets in it, I try to avoid. Basically, I am in Charlotte, North Carolina. I have never been here before. I've literally been up since three o'clock in the morning waiting in the airport. Basically, I have 24 hours to kill here in Charlotte. Tomorrow, I'm gonna go back to Uptown, it's where I work tonight, but I'll get to see it in the daytime. To this place, it's like a rooftop of a hotel, it's like a restaurant top called Fahrenheit. Amazing view, I caught it just in time for sunset. In the summertime, I would love to come back in the summertime because they've got amazing pool, amazing views. This would be a great like weekend trip. And then also, I'll go to the South End, which is another little, little area where they do shopping and stuff. I'll check it out, maybe go to the museum that's really popular. Story time. I was supposed to be flying from Chicago to New York and then essentially have like a long layover in New York and then come to Baltimore where I'm from. I was just gonna spend the day in New York. I really wanted to do some shopping. A friend that I could have seen, like have lunch with, whatever. I'm literally about to board the flight. Like I get Starbucks and then I realize that I'm waiting in the wrong line. I'm like, oh shoot, this isn't for Dallas. This isn't for New York. So I get into the line. The person in front of me gets on, no problem. Then all of a sudden I'm stopped. And me and like 12 people behind me were not able to board the flight because the flight was suddenly overweight for what was allowed to fly. We're all screwed basically. The guy behind me was going to Saudi Arabia. He had a connecting flight to Saudi Arabia. Completely missed that. This other lady was in first class and was like, who took my first class seat? There was no really flight, no more flights out to New York the rest of the day because they were all pretty booked. And I was like, well, I don't really need to go to New York. I was like, okay, I'll just do a direct flight from Charlotte to Baltimore. I was already in Charlotte because I had a connecting flight from Chicago to Charlotte and Charlotte to New York. And then later in the day, I was gonna take a train to from like Union or from Penn Station to Union Station to DC because it's like a three hour train ride. That obviously did not work out. So then I got rerouted to the next flight to Baltimore at 11 in the morning. The clock to New York was the one that I was supposed to catch. I was supposed to be in New York at 11, but no, I'm supposed to catch this flight to Baltimore at 11. A flight attendant didn't show up for a shift and FSA has rules that you have to have a certain amount of flight attendants to be on the flight in order to go and she never showed up, he or she never showed up. So basically the flight kept getting delayed, delayed, delayed. They tried to keep a replacement, nobody. And then by then it was too late, then people had other flights to be on. And you know, we're all like, we have things to do, we have places to be. So they finally canceled the flight around four o'clock and then we all had to scramble to call customer service to go to the desk and this is all the American Airlines. I was like I've never flown American. Every time I fly American something happened to remind me why I don't fly American. Basically I was in the airport for that for all that time for nothing. They, they gave me a hotel voucher for a night and $12 meal voucher which will get you a freaking water bottle at the airport. This is somewhere that I wouldn't normally be. Let me make the best out of it. Let me go out. Let me force myself to go out, get dinner, and then tomorrow do some sightseeing. And they're probably gonna force me out of the hotel. I have to check out early and my flight's not till night. So I'm gonna be homeless in Charlotte. Great. You know, I paid $14 to go into the city in my dinner and then like another $14 to come back and then my little Whole Foods front is 20 bucks. So that's like extra expenses that I wouldn't have been paying if I hadn't been inconvenienced here. But it's experience, I'm making the best out of it. The punchline is to make the best out of any situation, no matter what happens. It's a, it's a long layover, it's in the airport, connecting flight, whatever. Just roll with the punches, just use it as an opportunity. I was like, what if I meet my, my soulmate in Charlotte? 
you never know why God puts you in certain places at certain times. I could be avoiding something. Hopefully it's an inspiration the next time you get stranded in a new city that you don't know by yourself. Good morning, Charlotte. Just woke up, it's about 10 o'clock. Everything's kind of opening late on Sunday, so I decided to sleep in a little bit. Otherwise, I would wake up pretty early when I'm traveling, just so I can experience more. This is just complimentary sides that they offered, and I got this strawberry agua frescas, which is just like some flavored water. And it's kind of chilly out, but I love the view. I had the umbrella put up, and it's just a really pretty day. I got the Charleston omelet with roast potatoes, and these are just the sides. Stunning. The other place I went to was pretty good as well. I just had like an omelet, can't really mess that up. And now I'm just walking on Camden Street where there's like shops and stuff. And then you get to like the main drag. It's cute, Charlotte's cute, I can't complain. It's definitely not a city as I would want it to be, but it's enough to where I feel happy. It's also a Sunday, so it's kind of slow, it's sleepy. Nothing really open till like later. Very cute corners here. I feel like right here on Camden will be another great place to eat too, any of these little places. Ice cream, whatever. to South Boulevard where it seems to be all the shops are. I just took a lift from where I was in South Bend or Southward or I forget what it's called, but now I'm back in Uptown where I was last night at Bear. I was at Fahrenheit last night and everything's pretty close. I like that Charlotte is like a little city. Like it has everything, but not really. Like I don't, there's no like Target in the city. There's like a Whole Foods and Harris Teeter, but there's not like a Target and there's not like really shops except for the place that I just was where there was a little lemon and Madewell. There's not a Sephora, but nothing really else. I always want to try public transportation whenever I travel in different cities, but it's just kind of intimidating if you're by yourself, which is easier to Uber or Lyft. But this actually looks pretty cool. And the system looks really modern. Like I just really like how it looks.
mac and cheese bites, fresh marinara sauce, and some fresh juice. It's actually like the most beautiful day out here. I got my infused water, ice, a little bit of raw sugar, and like three different types of fruit. And it's free refills. And I got my mac and cheese bites. I'm a little kid. Are and now I'm just gonna walk down up here. I'm Manitoura, which is the top of the Dublin area. I'm drinking the second district something. It's really good. I actually like second ward drink, second ward district. I just like that better than the opposite track. And it's really good. I have these little beef bites. Stunning. Oh, I just got stuck all over the blanket. Yikes, you cannot take me anywhere. It's really windy, but it's really great. The views. Science. I'm just waiting for the shuttle in my hotel. It's been a really fun day, so excited to get home though.